committed to providing for people after their sickness has been diagnosed. Of late, however, the focus has slowly been shifting towards prevention. It's time to move from reactive sick care to proactive healthcare by default. This change in attitude has largely been fostered by technological advancement. Healthcare is one of the most influenced fields by technologies like extended reality and artificial intelligence, where their involvement brings improvement in current procedures and creates further avenues for advanced techniques. This is the VR AR Association MENA Chapter Spectacle. Thanks to technology, healthcare experts today have access to previously unavailable data. This makes it possible to monitor patients remotely, fill patients' charts faster, and um, uh, optimize diagnosis and treatment timeframes. Highly fulfilling medical training sessions, heightened comprehension of ailments, and enhanced pain distraction methodologies are only some of the countless benefits that immersive healthcare brings to the table. How do experts describe some of the major drivers of the XR market growth? First, there is an increase in preventive medicine. And mass education on preventative healthcare and lifestyle modification is critical in addressing issues such as the diabetes epidemic which puts a massive financial strain on the healthcare industry. Modern tools allow us to walk through pathological scenarios for the purpose of training or patient education. Then, there are tremendous benefits of using extended reality in rehabilitation. Virtual reality has the capability of creating individualized motivating environment in which practice intensity and feedback can be manipulated to create uh, to create individualized treatment plans which helps to retain movement furthermore there is the proven positive impact of using vr for cancer patients an escape from the confinement of the chemotherapy infusion suite and the anxiety or the boredom and discomfort that may be associated with the chemotherapy treatment XR is also redefining healthcare services for developing nations. Developing countries have limited medical resources. As a result, it is challenging dealing with a drastic increase in the number of cases considering the lack of sufficient machinery and workforce, resulting in higher rates of mortality, especially due to pandemics. Immersive training helps us to bridge this ever-increasing gap by making life-saving lessons quite accessible, cost-effective, and available for immediate application. Consequently, we are able to train all medical staff to react proactively during these overwhelming times and increased number of patients. A program in UAE started for saving lives by the empowerment of COVID-19 frontliners through immersive ventilator training. In times like these, it is the need of the hour to train and empower non-critical care clinicians to use ventilators efficiently. Knowing how to use one could very well be the difference between saving and losing a life. Back in 2016, a group of simulation experts working in collaboration with surgeons and game developers at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland developed and launched the world's first fully interactive virtual reality-based medical training simulator. The experience puts the medical trainee in the shoes of the emergency department trauma team leader, where they must assess the patient, make life or death decisions in real time and perform life-saving operative procedures as a surgeon would do in a real emergency case. The stressful, immersive environment simulates conditions experienced by young doctors. Talking about the expense, the program was initiated using Google Cardboard, a VR device which is costing less than $10, but helping to spread this content across the world. We are joined today by pioneers in XR Healthcare, their vision, beliefs, and passion for innovation is driving a revolution in healthcare practices and the patient-first uh, patient approach. Stay tuned and follow the VRAR Association MENA Chapter XR 2020.